<laughs> Michael is is uh, I'm I'm conscious of time there. Sorry, you know. I mean, it's yeah. grand for these two guys here. I know they're sitting in their pajamas and their slippers yeah. and stuff like that as retired men, you know. So I have to kind of do, do a small bit of work. Is it okay if I if I jump off here now? Last question. Right? I just to watch you, Tomas. Who's going to win the All Ireland? <laughs> well, if you're sitting at home last Saturday night and you're watching Limerick below the Gaelic grounds and the performance in the second hand, uh, second half, uh, particularly. Um, I think they're, team to, they're the team to beat. I think John Kiley has done an incredible job, but and I think what he's used this year was to find three or four players. And uh, I, I looked at Colin Coughlin and I watched him two years ago uh, below in Parky Ring at an under-20 match uh, against Cork. And I thought he was impressive, but I met a couple of Limerick guys. No, no, he's too heavy. He's too slow. He's, he's not going to. But how they've got to that guy in a two-year period to turn him into what he is now. Like, if, if without the, the colours of the helmet, you could have said this was another Kyle Hayes operating from left half back the last day. So I think that is the big the big thing for Limerick. They've now unearthed three or four serious guys that are putting challenges on the, the guys that were there, maybe the starting 15, and maybe one or two of those are going to come into the fray by championship time, which is going to freshen her up. And that's what Kid Kenny did when they were winning and they were winning yeah. Over those years ago, they were always finding two or three new players every year. And I think that's where Limerick are at. They're the team to be for me. Brilliant. Tomas, thanks a million for joining us. Cheers. See you, Tomas. Take it easy. We see you, sir. Mind you.